Plant 42 is one of the most distinct enemies that Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield will encounter during the events of the game Resident Evil. A creation born of a curious scientist named Henry Sarton, Plant 42 has taken up residence in the dormitory of the Spencer Estate and has carved out quite a bit of space for itself. An absolute mammoth of a plant that feeds on the blood of those it captures, this monstrosity is one of the most deadly things that the members of Stars Alpha will encounter on their journey. <laughs> The story of Plant 42 as we know it begins with a researcher at the Spencer Estate named Henry Sarton. Sarton was one of the many researchers who'd been working at the Arclay Mountains with the newly created T-Virus, and had been using this new strain on some of the local plant life around the facility to see how it reacted. Most of the plants, however, were a bit underwhelming. That is, until Sarton injected the virus into an unknown plant at point 42 of the Spencer Estate's dormitory. This plant reacted vastly different than the others. Through unknown means, the plant at point 42 grew to a remarkable size. Sarton theorizing that it was thanks to the large amount of chemically rich water that had flooded the basement due to a fellow scientist going mad and breaking the facility's water tank. Sarton theorized that it was the chemical elements that could be found in the lower levels mixing with the water that allowed the plant to attain such incredible growth. However, these roots weren't the only means by which the plant would receive nutrition. The plant at point 42 was also something of a predator. From the plant's bulbs, it would grow long vines that reached through the ducts of the dormitory, grabbing unsuspecting researchers through the cracks in the facility's halls and foundation. On the backs of these long vines were located many tiny suckers that, when wrapped around its prey, would suck the blood from its victims. Researchers in the dormitory would have several deadly run-ins with these long vines, and as the plants at point 42 began to rack up quite the body count, plans were made to destroy Sarton's fascinating little project. Sarton dubbed his unexpected killer Plant 42, a reference to where the large creature had been created, and with the help of his fellow researchers, began looking for a way to stop it. This research would lead the scientists to find a chemical compound that would combat the cellular characteristics of Plant 42 and destroy it. This compound was known as UMB-20, but researchers dubbed it as V-Jolt, and theorized that if it was applied to the roots of the plant, the entire thing would be dead in a matter of seconds. Unfortunately, these researchers would never get to enact their plans with this compound. Either through Plant 42 itself, or perhaps Neptune in the basement, these researchers would disappear leaving Plant 42 to continue to flourish in their absence. That is, until a new threat would make its way to the Spencer Estate. <sighs> is everyone alright? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? 
By the time the members of Star's Alpha Team have arrived on the scene, Plant 42 has already taken over a bulk of the dormitory, its vines infecting every square inch of the location and putting up quite the resistance against Chris and Jill. Having blocked off the main doors to where it's located, the Star's team members have to find alternative means to even reach the deadly plant. Chris opts to take the physical approach to dealing with Plant 42, rushing in head first and attacking when the plant opens up and shows its vulnerable core. Jill, on the other hand, approaches with much more tact. Finding the notes left behind from the researchers, she takes a much more clever strategy, mixing the chemicals to create V-Jolt and administering it to the root of the plant, weakening it substantially. Plant 42 is one of the most interesting creations to come out of the Arclay Mountains. Born from the curiosity of a researcher who never thought of the consequences, Plant 42 would go on to presumably cause the death of its very creator. Its pure instinct to thrive being all that it knows, because unlike the other creatures, it's just a plant. And what this plant may lack in mobility, it more than makes up for with its size and tact. What the hell is this thing? Barry! Jill! Oh. 